loving pranams at the lotus feet of our most beloved lord bhagwan sri satyasai baba varu on behalf of sri satyasai samyukta shruti shreni of sri satyasai seva organization india it is indeed a great blessing to once again welcome you all to this divine satsang on vedas the very foundation of indian culture and spirituality in this 44th episode of gama agama lecture series we are indeed very fortunate and blessed to have with us professor dr sudarshan sarmagaru to continue his lectures on sri rudra dhyaya now i humbly request professor sarmagaru to take over sai ram ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯೀಶ್ವರಾಯ ಮೈ ಅತಿ ಗ್ರೀಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಸಾಯಿ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ meaning of the sixth anuvaka of rudrajhaya om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om namo ajesthay chakanasthay chanamah potvajay cha parajay cha namo madhyamay cha pakalbhay cha namo jaghanyay cha buddhnyay cha namasrojhay cha pratisaryay cha ನಮೋ ಯಾಮ್ಯಾಯ ಚೇಮ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋರ್ವರ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಖಲ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕ್ಯಾಯ ಚಾವಸಾನ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮೋ ವನ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ಕಕ್ಷ್ಯಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಶ್ರವಾಯ ಚ ಪ್ರತಿಶ್ರವಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಆಶುಷೇಣಾಯ ಚಾಶರಥಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಶೂರಾಯ ಚಾವೋ ಭಿಂದತೆ ಚ ನಮೋ ವರ್ಮಿಣೆ ಚ ವರೂಥಿನೆ ಚ ನಮೋ ಬಿಲ್ಮಿನೆ ಚ ಕವಚನೆ ಚ ನಮ ಶ್ರುತಾಯ ಚ ಶ್ರುತಸೇನಾಯ ಚ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ Sixth Anuvaka of Rudra Jaya. In this Jaya, Maharudra is invoked in different forms. In contrast qualities. Namo Jeshthaya Chaka Nishthaya Chaka. This is the first mantra. ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ರುದ್ರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಕನಿಷ್ಠಾಯ ಚ ರುದ್ರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ರುದ್ರಾಯ ಹಿಯ ರುದ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ 
elder elder to all such rudra is saluted by me elder to all means not just by age but in every aspect he is elder to the others he is elder by virtue of uh, his age his knowledge his wealth his power what not everything in all aspects he is the eldest namo jeshthaya cha on contrast he is kanishtha he is the youngest he is the youngest by age he is the smallest creature on the contrast to jeshtha namo jeshthaya cha kanishthaya cha next mantra is namah purvajaya cha aparajaya cha purvaja born first he was born first aparaja means he was born later so everything a creature has got a birth suppose a product is produced today it was not there yesterday and after the expiry date it will not also exist but these qualities do not apply to rudra nama purvajaya cha he was born as the first and foremost he was there everywhere he was there for all the times namo purvajayaja and then aparajayaja those who are going to born they are also rudra those who were born already it's rudra those who are going to born take birth they are also rudra this is one kind of interpretation for namah purvajaya cha aparajaya cha for the same mantra there is another interpretation namah purvajaya cha aparajaya cha purvaja means uh, i will explain this with a with an example suppose the earth is born first and today a pot maker prepares a pot produces a pot that pot is aparaja it was born later actually pot is nothing but uh, the earth the mud itself that is its purva roopa mud is the first birth a pot is the next birth nam purvaja is rudra is purvaja the first born the earth also he is aparaja the thing that was born the part that was born out of the earth likewise there is gold raw gold out of the gold the raw, raw gold is purvaja born first then some goldsmith prepares an ornament that is aparaja vikruti in other words it is vikruti purvaja is prakriti aparaja is vikruti rudra is an all the forms he is the prakriti he is the vikruti the next mantra is namo madhyamaya tapagalbhaya cha madhyama means 
who is at the middle age very strong very powerful apagalbha means very young tender a child rudra is in in all these forms he is he is pervasive in all the youngsters he is also pervasive in all the infants namo madhyamaya cha apagalbhaya cha madhyama means middle aged apagalbha means infant namo jaghanyaya cha buddhiyaya cha namo jaghanyaya cha jaghanya means one who stays at the back this is the back bencher he stays at the back buddhiyaya cha buddhiya means at the bottom he is also at the bottom he is at the back he is at the bottom means he is at the back means jaghanya back means unimportant buddhiya means he is the basic buddhiya the basic he holds the entire fort everything is based on him that's why he is called budriya and both these qualities are there namo jaghanyaya cha he stays back but budriya he holds everything he controls everything he forms the basis of all namo jaghanyaya cha buddhiyaya cha then next mantra is namassobhyaya cha pratisaryaya cha sobhya requires a very uh, extensive interpretation sobhya means ubhabhyam yuktaha sobhya the person equipped with jewel qualities two types of qualities is called sobhya the person possessing two types of two different types of qualities not just two but two different contrast to each other rudra possesses such qualities that's why he is called sobhya sa ubhabhya yukta sobhya ubhabhya what are those two different qualities different to each other what are the qualities you can say so many things the dwandvas the vedantins say dwandvas sukha dukha shita ushna sukha dukha sukha jay dukha saro sita uh, uh, coldness ushna warmth and then satya asatya satya the truth asatya the lie and importantly the interpretators have given another idea punya papa abhyam yuktah punya papa ubhabhyam two different qualities what are they punya and papa the merit and sin he possesses both of them when there is punya definitely 
there will be happiness or heaven. When there is a papa, definitely there will be hell followed by torture. These are karma. When Rudra possesses both Punya, Merit and Papa sin, he also possesses happiness and sorrow, sadness or difficulty. The Punya and the Papa are the phenomena of the, or the criteria of the earth, the living being, the Srishti. The creation. The entire creation is full of punya and papa. It's nothing but punya and papa. The jivas, the souls, they come onto the earth to enjoy their punya and papa. And again, while doing, while living, they perform punya and papa and this is called the samsara chakra they come here to enjoy if they enjoy if they just enjoy and go away then they will get liberation but while living afresh they are doing something for punya and something for papa this punya and papa also should be enjoyed by them in their next births. So they have to take birth again. Rebirth, rebirth and rebirth. Punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam, punarapi janani jathare shayam. Thus says Shankaracharya. Namas sobhyayacha. Sobhyayacha means Ultimately, what is the actual meaning? The Vyavaharika, the worldly, the physically being, is not an extraordinary being. He is not the Supreme Soul. But he is a subordinate. Because he is a subordinate, he is subjected to punya and papa, sukha and dukha, as we do. So, Rudra is everywhere, in every creature or in every inanimate thing that has taken birth to enjoy papa or punya. Is everywhere. Namas Sobhyayacha. Sobhya means ultimately the physical world, the entire physical world, which is the outcome of Punya or Papa. He is both. That's why the entire universe is Himself. There is nothing which is different from him. Namasobhyayacha Pratisaryayacha Pratisarya means that which sarati, sarati, which moves. The, in the entire creation, creation, there are only two things. The moving and non-moving. Pratisarya means the moving, the moving creatures. The trees and mountains, they do not move. Of course they move, but we cannot witness. But the movement of animals, birds, human beings, it is seen, it is seen movement in them. He is there. Rudra is there. O oh, Rudra, I salute you in this form. 
नमस्ोभ्या च प्रतिसर्याय च नमो याम्याय च क्षेम्याय च इज दि नेक्स्ट मंत्र Yamya and Kshemya. See, all these are uh, contrast qualities. Yamya means Yamasya Sadane Vasan Yamya. One who lives in the abode of Yama, the kingdom of Yama, that is hell, Naraka. Yamya means the creature who is in Yamaloka, Naraka, hell. Urdra, those, all those who are in the kingdom of Yama or hell are yourself only. They are not different from you. नमो याम्याय च एंड देन क्षेम्याय च क्षेम्या मीन्स क्षेमे भव क्षेम स्वर्ग स्वर्गे भव क्षेम्या एंड द पर्सन द जीवास् द सोल्स दट लिव इन हेवन द गॉड्स इंद्र एंड अदर्स they are also your manifestations you are in yamaloka you are in swargaloka you are there in both the places kshemya yacha heaven you live in heaven and enjoy the fruit of punya you live in hell and you enjoy the result of papa sin namo yamya cha kshemya cha then namo urvarya cha khalya cha urvarya means uh the fertile land or the paddy fields you are in the form of paddy fields fertile soil fertile land i salute you rudra also you are kalyaya cha kalya means the place where uh, uh the ripen paddy is collected from the plants you you are there in that place also you are in the paddy field you are in the grain field grain field नम उर्वर्याय च खल्याय च नेक्स्ट मंत्र इज नम श्लोक्याय चावसान्याय च श्लोक्या मीन्स प्रेज्ड 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 वे यू आर प्रेज्ड इन दि वेदा you are praised in the vedas over the i salute you because you are praised in the vedas you are well known because veda is the first and foremost literature and the vedas praise you so that you are well known to the entire world shlokya well known you are the well known you are described you are praised in the vedas avasanyaya cha 
Avasanya means the ending portion. You are there at the ending portion. What is the ending portion of Veda? It is Vedanta. Veda Anta. Avasana. Avasana means Anta. Vedanta. Avasanya is Upanishads. You are prized in the Upanishads. All the Upanishads, they speak of you. They propose you as Parabrahman. Urdra, you are praised and proposed in the first portion of Vedas. That is Karma Kanda. You are the total objective of Karma Kanda. Similarly, Karma Kanda is rejected in the Jnana Kanda because, because Jnana Kanda is the ultimate one. Because Moksha is attained only through Jnana. Jnana Devatu Kaivalyam. Karma helps you to brush your mind and take away all the demerits from the mind so that it becomes clear and can concentrate on the Supreme Soul as described in Vedanta or Upanishads. First you have to perform the karma. Otherwise your mind will not get purified. For purification of the mind Shloka or Veda is necessary. Karma Kanda is necessary. You should not stop there. You should rise above the Karma Kanda. You should enter into the Jnana Kanda and should attain the supreme ultimate liberation and become the supreme soul. So, Rutra, you are there in the Karma Kanda. Namashlokyayacha, Avasanyayacha. O Rutra, you are also there in the Jnana Kanda in the Upanishads. You are proposed by Karma. You are proposed by Brahma, Brahma Kanda. Namashlokyayacha, Avasanyayacha. This means Rudra is raised in the Mantra Kanda, Samhita Mantras, Karma Kanda Mantras, and then also in Upanishads. Upanishad Gamyayate Namaha. Thus the Shastras praise him. Upanishad Gamyaya. You can learn the true figure of Rudra. Only through Upanishads. Namaslo kyaya chava sanyaya Then Namo vanyaya chakakshaya cha Vanyaya Vane bhavaha vanyaha The tribal who lives in the forest wolves. Vanyaya cha urdra you are the Vanya, the tribal who reside in the forests, in dense woods. Namo Vanya cha, and then Kakshya cha. Kakshya means palace. You live in palaces also. You live in the forest. You also live in the palace. Namo Vanyayacha. So, all the uh, tribals, they are the Rudras. All the citizens, uh, civilized citizens, 
They are also Rudras. Namo Vanyayacha Kakshyayacha Namasravayacha Pratishravayacha Sravaha means the sound. Shruyate Pratishravayacha Pratishrava means the resound. You are the sound. Also you are the resound. Shrava and Pratishrava. Shrava means sound. Pratishrava means Pratidvani or resound. Shrava and Pratishrava also have some other meaning. Shrava means the praise. The Kirti, Prashasti, the respect, the dignity, the prestige. And Pratishrava means quite opposite of it. Defame, Pratishrava means Apakirti. He will curse him. Shrava means a person who is praised by all. Pratishrava means a person who is cursed by all. Both are the forms of Rudra. Namas Shrava Yacha. Shrava means another interpretation. Shrava proposed by the Vedas, the Vedic literature, is described there as the Supreme Soul. Pratishrava means he is also described in the Vedangas. Shrava Veda, Pratishrava Vedanga. The literature that is different from Veda, Pratishrava means. Shrava means Vedic, Vedic literature. Pratishrava means the literature other than the Vedas. He is also there. He is in Vedic literature. He is in non-Vedic literature. He is everywhere. He is praised. He is described as the Supreme Soul in both the types of literatures. Namas Shravayacha Pratish Shravayacha Then Some other qualities of Rudra Particularly Regarding his warriorship They are given In the following mantras Nama Ashushenayacha Ashurathayacha Ashushenaya It is very easy to understand Ashu Sena. Ashu means swift, fast. Uh, you must have heard about Ashu Kavitra. Ashu Kavitra. The poet uh, doesn't need any pen and paper or time to think over. Just if you give him a subject and ask him to describe, he will immediately start a shloka. A stanza, a verse. That is called Ashu Kavitva. Ashu means swift, fast, quick. Sena. Sena means the armed forces. Rudra is the commander of Ashu Sena, the fast moving security forces. They do not need any type. As and when, he thinks in his mind, his army will gather there. Asushenaya, the Puranas describe the uh, security forces of Rudra in the form of uh, uh, Pramatha Ganas and Matra Ganas, Vaishnavi, Varahi, Chamundi, all the Matra Ganas. They are all his security forces. And they move 
from place to place within no time. That's why Rudra is called Asushena. In Sandhi, Sakara becomes Shakara. Sena means Shakara. Nakara becomes Shanakara. In Sandhi. Nama Asushena Yacha. Just if the forces move to the right place, that is not enough. Even the commander should be present at the place, at the right place, to instruct the soldiers. That's why he should also move there. Therefore, it is for that reason, this word is given Ashuratha he is not only Asushena, but also Ashuratha. Ashuratha means the swift charioted person whose chariot moves very fast. Whose chariot moves at imaginable, unimaginable speed. Unimaginable speed. You cannot count even the seconds. He has got that type of chariot. Vehicle. Vehicle. Ratha means the vehicle. Not necessarily a chariot with some wheels and horses, all that. Is Nandiswara is also a Ratha. Ratha means the vehicle. Predominantly, we feel that Ratha is a, a, a wooden structure, wheeled structure, pulled by the horses. In fact, at this particular place, Ratha means any type of vehicle. Sometimes he moves riding on a horse, riding on a buffalo, ox, or a tiger, or a man. Asuratha Ayacha. Everything is his Ratha. Everything is his, uh, his chariot. Ashuratha Ayacha. He writes on everything. Nama Ashushena Ayacha. Ashuratha Ayacha. The next mantra is Nama Shura Ayacha Vavindatecha. Shura Ayacha Avabhindatecha. He is Shura. He is a great warrior. He is a great warrior, Shura. So, what for is there the warriorship for him? What to do with the warriorship? Avabhindatecha. He breaks the heads. He avabhindana. Avabhindana means bheta. To break. He breaks the heads of those who do not follow the path of dharma. Namashurayacha is a fierce warrior. And he generates scarce fear in the minds of those who do not follow dharma. If he if, if we do not follow dharma, then he will break our head. Breaking the head need not be physically there. You enter into the mind 
and create some uh, such idea by which you will harm yourself no person from outside is needed to destroy you you may become self destructive if you do not follow them so rudra he breaks the heads avabhindate cha breaker of the heads it it may be physically breaking the heads or it may be uh mental breaking the head nama shuraya cha shura the warrior and he is determined he is sure of his duty avabhindate cha when rudra wants to destroy then your mind becomes perplexed chanchala and take some negative decisions the shura always takes the positive decisions is determined avabhinda techa this person is wavering in mind nama shuraya cha avabhindate cha further we can interpret this in this manner shura is determined if you worship rudra he will improve your mental abilities your indecisiveness will disappear and you will become firm and determined if you disgrace rudra the opposite will happen avabhindate cha you will become weak minded you will become indecisive and you suffer namashuraya cha avabhindate cha next mantra is namo varmine cha varuthine cha namo varmine cha varmi varma asya asti ti varmi varma means the armor uh the protection provided to prevent the strikes of the swords or the hits of the arrows armor that protects the chest he is having rudra is having that varma that armor to protect from the jolts of the arrows or swords or other types of weapons also he is at the varutha varutha means the chariot driving place driver's place normally in gita padesha we see these two characters varmi is the arjuna the fighter the warrior and varuthin is krishna partha sarathi the the driver of the chariot of partha arjun these two are nara and narayana these two are different characters arjuna nara partha is the shishya and varuthin 
Krishna, Narayana is the Guru. He teaches the Gita. Namo Varminecha, Varuthinecha. But in this mantra, Rudra is described as one. He is the Arjuna, also he is Krishna. He is the Varmin, he is the Varuthin. Namo Varminecha, Varuthinecha. He is both. Both Nara and Narayana. He is nothing but Rudra. Namo Varminecha, Varuthinecha. The next mantra is Namo Bilminecha ka Vachinecha. Uh, we think that uh, science and technology is growing up so that our life becomes uh, safe and comfortable. We drive a two-wheeler. Earlier, there were no helmets. The ride was unsafe. Now everyone wears a helmet and drives fast. He is safe because he wears the he wears the helmet. Namo bilminecha bilma means helmet. Bilma means the helmet. Hey Bilmin, O Rudra, you wear the helmet. Kavachinecha. Then you wear the Kavacha. Kavacha means it is also uh, a protective uh, objective uh, which saves from the hits of various types of weapons thrown by the enemies. Kavachinecha, you wear the Kavacha. Uh, earlier, uh, Varma, armor, we told that uh, uh, he, he was uh, using the Varma. Varma means the armor. Now Kavacha. Kavacha is like a long coat which is ankle long, so long, ankle long. From the neck to ankle. Something like a pullover. A long coat. Kavacha. That is called Kavacha. From toe to head. Namo bilmine chaka vachine cha. On the head, there is a helmet. And the entire body is covered by Kavacha, the long coat. O Rudra, you wear the helmet, also you wear the long coat, which is up to your ankle. You wear both of them, which means he is fully protected. If you really worship, with commitment, with shraddha, with bhakti, with devotion. He will provide the unseen helmet and the unseen kavacha to you. He himself becomes the helmet. He himself becomes the long coat to protect your entire body. Your head is protected by the helmet, Bilma. Namo Bilminecha Bilma. Bila Yuktaha Bilma. And it has got some holes. Holes to see. Bila Yuktaha. Where there are Bila. Bila means uh, Randras. It is called Bilma. To see at the place of eyes. Uh, there will be some cut. 
also there will be a small cut to take the breath at the place of the nose that instrument is called bill if you pray rudra he will become your bilma or the helmet bilma or helmet he will protect your head which means you will protect your ideas mentally he will protect you kavachine cha the entire body he is protected by him he becomes the long coat on your body physically he will protect you he will protect you mentally bilmine cha means he will protect you mentally kavachine cha he will protect you physically both kind of kinds of protections you can have by praying rudra namasrutaya cha srutasenaya cha srutaya srutasenaya shruta means praised by the vedas he is well known and srutasena means one who possesses who commands the famous security forces srutasena means he who commands the reputed security forces o rudra you are well known everywhere and your security forces are also known everywhere so give me protection namaha i say you too so that is uh, the word by word meaning of uh, the mantra this mantra is a great mantra every mantra is great but this is specially great the rishi is rudra himself the devata is also the same rudra is the devata rishi is rudra devata is also rudra and the chanda says mahavirat mahapanti 2 meters are there mahavirat and mahapanti these are the meters of this mantra to get authority over the mantra for 3 days one should eat food without uh, salt and chili charu bhojana triratra charu bhojana for 3 days he should take food without salt and pepper and for 11 days he should go on chanting repeating this mantra except the time of snana and sanjavana such necessary things then while chanting this mantra you should meditate upon a particular kind of rudra whose posture is described in the following shloka kauri karambujanyastaswarna shaila sarasanam gauri karambujanyastaswarna shaila sarasanam yushu hastam nararudham naranari tanusmaret 
here rudra is in the form of a naranari ardhanareshwara half male half female shiva and parvati both are mingled together gauri karambujanyasta swarnashaila sharasanam rudra always holds a bow a bow of meru parvata the golden mountain is his bow now since he is peaceful he doesn't need the bow to use he has given it to gauri karambuja he has placed this in the hand of gauri ishu hastam ishu hastam on the left side gauri is there uh, the the bow is uh, 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 the bow will be in the left hand so the bow was given to gauri and the arrow arrow is carried by the right hand ishu hastam that is in rudra's hand nara nari tanu this type of ardhanarishvara who is sitting on a chariot ratharudham bow is in the hand of parvati and the arrow is in the hand of rudra that naranari tam ardhanarishvara should be read so if you perform this the results are fantastic shatru vijaya you will enjoy the victory over your enemies the enemies may not be physical enemies even your own mental enemies kama krodha lobha moha mada matsarya ari shadvarga these are the internal enemies you will gain victory over them and you will also gain victory over the enemies outside shatru vijaya and the next result is chira ayushya you can increase your life span your longevity will increase rajya vriddhi if you do not have a kingdom you will gain a kingdom if you already have a kingdom it will be expanded your area of control will be expanded your area of authority will be expanded rajya abhivruddhi and then suputra vapti if you do not have a son you will get a good son a good son is born to you if you already have son or sons they will be good sons if they are perverted also by chanting this mantra they will become good citizens they will become good sons and serve you suputra vapti suppose there is no possibility of any son then when the time comes at the time of need somebody will come and help you as a son 
even if you do not have sons or if you do not have any progeny this mantra will give you such a chance that you will be served by somebody as your son suputra vaapte falaprado yam mantra so that is the uh, famous mantra the sixth anuvaka of uh, rudrajhaya namo ajjhtaya ca kanishtaya ca namah purvajaya ca parajaya ca namo madhyamaya ca pagalbhaya ca namo jaghanyaya ca buddhriyaya ca namo srokhyaya ca pratisaryaya ca namo yamyaya ca kshenyaya ca namo urvaryaya ca kalyaya ca namo shlokyaya ca avasanyaya ca namo vanyaya ca kakshaya ca namo shravaya ca pratisravaya ca नम आशुषेणा चाशरथा च नम शूरा चाभिंदते नमो वर्मिणे चरूथिने नमो बिघ्ने कवचने नम श्रुता चुतसेनाय हरि ओ ओं श्री साई राम ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ऑल द मेम्बर्स of this divine satsang and on behalf of all the team members of sri satyasai samyukta shruti shreni of sri satyasai seva organization india i express our sincere and heartfelt gratitude to professor dr sudarshana sarmagaru for his wonderful explanation with word to word meaning and inner significance of the sixth anuvaka of sri rudra dhyaya with the kind permission of professor dr sarmagaru i will provide a brief summary of his talk in the sixth anuvaka salutations are offered to sri rudra who is verily the eldest and the youngest one salutations are offered to sri rudra who is adi purusha and salutations to sri rudra who has no beginning and end but is always there in everything and everywhere who is verily at the forefront and at the back and also on the top and at the back under the bottom he is also in the middle he is worshiped both as the one who is in the form of joy and sorrow in the form of heat and also cold also who is verily the energy of punya and papa and yet untouched and unsullied by all such dualities and who can protect us from all such dualities shri rudra is worshiped as the indweller of all the beings in all the worlds swarga naraka devabhumi manavabhumi and so on he is also saluted as the very beauty energy and life of green fields on farm yards he is verily the prakriti he is also worshiped as the one praised in vedas vedangas and upanishads he is saluted for his ever presence in 
all forms, including sound and resound, action and reaction. Sri Rudra, who is the commander of the army that can strike at lightning speed with lightning movement, and as the one present at all times, in all places, he is saluted and worshipped for such a powerful energy that he possesses. He is also worshipped and saluted as he can calm our wavering mind and make us firm and determined and calm and make us stay on the dharmic paths. Sri Rudra in this sixth Anuvaka is also saluted as he is verily the shielding power and the shield too and who is beyond all harms and can save all from all harms. He is both Nara and Narayana, Arjuna and Krishna and is omnipotent who is always protected and beyond all protection and is verily the source of all protection. Thus, the omnipresence, omnipotence and omniscience of Sri Rudra in the form of Prakriti and Purusha is worshipped and saluted in this sixth Anuvaka. Professor Sharma Gado also explained to us that Rishi and Deity for this great mantra is Sri Rudra himself. Chandas has two meters, Mahavirat and Mahapangti. The Vidana for chanting this mantra goes as follows. One has to observe three days of food bojana without salt and pepper, sattvika bojana. And one should do the chanting for 11 continuous days. While chanting, one should meditate upon the Ardhanarishwara Swarupa of Sri Rudra with the bow of Meru Parvata in the hand of Gauri Mata who is on the left half and the arrow in the right hand of Sri Shivarupa on the right half. Such a devoted meditation for 11, 11 long days will bestow the Pryojana or result as follows. One will get Shatru Vijaya, long life, welfare of the kingdom and Suputra Prapti. Thus, Sri Sharmagaru ended his excellent talk on this great mantra, the sixth Anuvaka of Sri Rudra Dhyaya. On behalf of all the beneficiaries of this divine satsang and on behalf of Sri Satisai Samyukta Sruti Shreni of Sri Satisai Seva Organization India, I once again express our heartfelt gratitude to Professor Dr. Sujasan Sarmagadu for his time and effort to explain to us in such simple manner the inner significance of this sixth Anuvaka of Sri Rudra Dhyaya. I humbly pray to our dear Lord Sai to immensely bless Professor Sharmagaru and his family. Jai Sai Ram. Om Jai Jagadish Hai 
स्वामी सत्य साई हरे भक्त जना संरक्षक भक्त जना संरक्षक पति महेश्वरा ओम जय जगदीश हरे शशि वंदना श्री करा सर्वा प्राण पदे स्वामी सर्वा प्राण पदे आश्रित कल पल दीका आश्रित कल पल दीका आप Yes, sir. 